Hi, my name is Kathy Surya, and in this tutorial, you will learn how to download, install, and use Eclipse in your computer. For those of you who do not know what Eclipse is, it is an integrated development environment, also known as an IDE. It is one of the most popular professional IDEs for working with Java. Eclipse not only provides a text editor, but also tools for compiling, running, and debugging code, as well as a tool for building graphical user interfaces. To download Eclipse, we must first go to the Eclipse website. To do that, go to your web browser. I'll be using Google Chrome and Google as my search engine. Type in Eclipse. The first search result is the Eclipse website. Click on the download link and it'll take us to the Eclipse downloads page. Click on Eclipse Classic 3.7.2. Go to the right section of the page to the download links and click on the operating system that you are using in your computer. Mine is Windows 64 bit. Then click on the big green arrow to start downloading the .zip file. This will probably take about 10 minutes depending on how fast your internet speed is. Once the file is done downloading, search for the zip file. Mine was saved into my downloads folder. Right click over the zip file to extract the files to your desktop or wherever you decide to extract them. This takes about 10 seconds. Once it's done, Go to your desktop and open the folder called Eclipse and double click on the Eclipse application which will start the program. Click OK to save all your work in a folder called Workspace. And this is how it looks when you run it for the first time. Once you close the welcome window, you will see how Eclipse looks like. Eclipse is really helpful to complete your code and notify you of potential compile time errors. In addition, Eclipse will automatically compile your programs when you run them. And when you run a program that prints text to the console, Eclipse displays that text in its own console window. So that's what I will be showing you a sample of. So we're going to print text to the console. To do that, we're going to click here to this arrow click on Java project uh, you can name the project anything that you like or we'll call mine simple message click finish it'll show up in your package explorer click on the arrow next to the folder right click over the SRC folder click new then click on class you can name the class anything or we'll call mine hello professor then click on this checkbox and click finish. You can get rid of these comments, you don't really need them. Now to print out something to the console window, you're going to use system.out.print parentheses quotations. In between the quotations, you can put the message that you want to print out to the console window. I will put Hello, Fasica 3. I hope I get a for this video tour. Anyways. Then end the line of code with a semicolon. Now to run this program, you have to click on this play button up here, which is the run button. Then click on OK. Then it'll show up in the console window. So in this video tutorial, you learn how to download, install, and use Eclipse. Thank you for watching.